Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is Monday, January 13th of 2014, and you are looking at, well, an old friend of ours that you probably haven't seen on my channel in a while, my 1995 Honda Accord, one of two cars I own, this and the 2000 Civic, but this one is is my baby. I, I love it more than any other car I've ever seen. <laughs> Wouldn't mind a DeLorean though, but <laughs> and um, since you last saw it, um, I'm happy to report nothing um, unfortunate has happened to it. Um, it's still just as reliable as it it's always been. Um, did have one slight problem with it last fall, which I will um, get into when I um, show the inside of the car. But yeah, it'll this car will be 19 years old in. July of this year. Still have uh, a lot of good years left with this. Really need to figure out how to keep that headlight from fading. And um, about a year ago I replaced my Back to the Future out of time license plate with the plate that was originally on this car since the 90s. This was custom made for us at Burlington Honda back in, I want to say, 1996. And it's um, built very well. It's the actual OEM color for the car as well. So really, really nice. Here's the passenger side. Um, someday I would really, really love to find the find original hubcaps for this car. I replaced these with I put these on here back in 2010 and they just don't look right. I need to find some original 1995 Honda Accord hubcaps. I guess I have to go to a junkyard or something. Had to have this tire filled up um, about a month ago. I was I had to go out into Greensboro to run some errands and I was just and I was um, just got a I got up to that Christmas tree right there on the road when I thought when I noticed the car was driving kind of funky. So I pulled over, and it turns out this tire was completely flat. I don't know how I didn't notice that when I was in the driveway, but turns out there was a slow leak in it, and we got it patched up, and it's been fine ever since. And I'm glad I, I didn't hurt the rims when I was driving on them. <laughs> Yeah, Honda really outdid themselves with this car. The um, this is a a motorized um, antenna. Well, it used to be until 2010 when it just stopped working, and now it's been staying up ever since. But it still works just fine, though. I just have to remember not to take it to a car wash with brushes, <laughs> or else um, damage will be had. Let's um get inside here yeah. oh good grief here is um, the instrument panel um, it's currently got a hundred and seventy seven thousand six hundred and four miles on it which is really really good for a 19 year old car well a car that's almost 19 years old Got about half a tank of gas in it right now. I need to dust this car out a little bit. Got the tachometer there. There's the air conditioning controls. I had this Febreze air freshener thing in here that supposedly makes your car smell like a new car smell, but it smells nice, but it's certainly not new car smell. <laughs> no, none of these um, air freshener companies have ever gotten that smell right. <laughs> Now here's what I wanted to mention earlier. Um, if you're thinking that this is the exact same radio you've seen in my car for a while now, that's been in this car for since 1995, well, you're wrong. Back in um, September of 2013, um, the uh, tape player quit working. I would stick a tape in there and it would keep auto-reversing every second. And plus, the um, right at the same time, the the LED display um, quit working and it was just the radio um, about all that was that would work on it was the radio and I wasn't gonna have that <laughs> so what I did was I got on eBay and I found 
this radio right here, which is exactly identical to the one that used to be in here. It was only like $35. So I bought it, had it put in here, and it works perfectly. In fact, it's in near mint condition. It's like it's hardly ever used. So it's like, um, it's almost like I never even had to replace the radio. Oh, and I also had um, all four speakers replaced in this car, and the, and the audio in here sounds better than ever. Who, um, you know what? Um, you know what I'm in the mood for? By the way, um, I do have a GPS, but I don't have it in here right now. That's where it usually goes. But I'm sort of in the mood for a ride-along video. You think you guys want to do that? Well, I'll be right back, and we'll get going and hit the road. All right. Here we go. We are ready to go. Now, um, unlike used to these ride-along videos, I currently don't have a v piece of Velcro for this video camera. So I'm going to have to do it the stupid way um, and just hold the camera while I drive. But fortunately, we'll just be going down a few country roads, so... We should be safe, um, knock on, knock on dashboard. <laughs> so let's, uh, uh, fire this beast up. Oh yeah, listen to that engine purr. All right, um, and there's the new radio. It's working perfectly. Um, I want to sh quickly show off a, a new radio station that recently signed on in this area. It's actually an AM station. It's um, 1380 AM WTOB out of Winston-Salem. This is this was pretty much the top 40 station in this area back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. And recently it came back on the air as an oldie station with all the original jingles and everything. And it sounds really, really nice. It sometimes sounds nice. It comes in and out, but... All right, let's... Okay. All right. Might turn the radio on back on back on a little bit. I just don't want to get in trouble with um, YouTube's copyright police. So let's. Uh, kids, don't try this at home. I'm an idiot. Don't be an idiot like me. All right. <laughs> I couldn't resist. All right, oh, that was a nice looking truck. Not. <laughs> okay, we usually make a right out of here, but I think this time we'll make a left. Because we're gonna drive through the country. Because it's safer for idiots like me using a video camera. All right, um. <laughs> Got some good speed going here. We're going about 50 miles an hour. Oh, where should I go? I don't even know where to go right now. Uh, let's see, we'll, um, I normally don't go this way, but I think we'll make a right here. And hopefully that truck doesn't get us. <laughs> All right, there we go. tell you, it's um, hard to find a vehicle these days that, that's as good as this. Um, I love my parents' 2013 Honda Accord like crazy. In fact, I would love to have one, <laughs> one for my own, but I don't know. It's just something about these older 90s cars. Um, and I'm not just talking Honda. I'm talking about any car from the 90s. It just has a certain feel to it. And and this car, um, almost 19 years old and never a major problem with it. That, that is just phenomenal. <laughs> and I have no intention of ever getting rid of this car. In fact, um, Lord willing, if it keeps going, um, as long as I hope it will, I wouldn't mind passing this down to my children. Just like my parents passed it down to me. As 
a nice little area through here. It's just mostly country. Um, really, um, really, really, really nice ho houses that um, are very, very large um, and lots of um, uh, big old front yards and big old backyards. That's how I like them. Nothing like living in the country. Alright, about to pass a bridge here. Um, up until about 15 years ago, this was actually a, um, a one-lane bridge um, until they replaced it. It was interesting, if there was a car coming, you would have to stop and let that car come through the other way, and then you could go. So you could probably see why they had to replace that. Alright, uh, I think we will um, make a left turn up here. Nobody's coming. All right, we're going to make another left turn here. All right, we are safe to go. We'll subdivide. Oh, well, that's nice of them. <laughs> Speed limit's actually 55 through here, but I usually don't go that fast. I'm too much of a wimp. Okay, I yeah, better slow down here or else um, I might be... This car will probably meet, meet its maker, and I probably will too. And as much as I love you guys on YouTube, um, all my subscribers, I'm not going to risk my life for you. <laughs> okay, we will make a left turn here. That was Buffalo Creek we just went over. has a good sounding engine it because it's loud and it sound it sounds like a it doesn't sound trick out tricked out or anything which I absolutely hate in a car I hate it when people do that and it's usually good old Hondas like this that get that treatment but it's it's it sounds cool yet sensible at the same time I always like it when I have my window down and I can hear the engine going usually at a at a drive-through or something Oh yeah, my check engine light just came on. Um, I actually had that looked into. It's just some kind of sensor that will that means absolutely nothing and would cost two hundred dollars to replace. So I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna get it fixed or anything. It's not worth it. I'll just have to deal with it or do like they do on TV shows. Put a piece of tape over it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, but I've never been into killing animals. <laughs> There's a big old farm over there. I actually have, um, it's actually a very popular farm for people to have weddings at. Alright, we're going to be back where we started from, I believe, in just a moment. Right past this curve. We just went around the circle, folks. That's actually where we um, turned off a while ago from coming from the other direction. So we're almost home. Another nice thing about this car is it's real comfortable and it's just fun to drive. It just, it's a good zoomer, if you could get what I'm saying. turn here um, back on my road all right
night. And we are home. All right, put it back into park. Unbuckle. See what's on the let's see what's on the radio. I have no clue what that is. <laughs> but yeah, um, I guess next thing we ought to do is maybe take a look at the engine. Pop up, pop open the hood. Uh, let's see here. And let's see what, what's under this um, bonnet. All right, um, it's not the cleanest looking um, engine compartment you've probably ever seen, but it, it certainly gets the job done. Um, I'd like to point out what everything is, but I'm really not into cars like a lot of people on YouTube are, so I would just sound like an idiot. About a year ago, we had the radio to replace. So it should be good for a good while. Also had the battery replaced about a year ago. All the belts and everything. Oh yeah, we had a pretty major um, job done to it a little over a year ago. We had the timing belt replaced. It's it's now on its third timing belt. Which replacing a timing belt is is not a very simple job. In fact, you have to replace like the water pump and all that. But it's important to have it done every 90,000 miles, I think. That's what Honda wants. And my battery on my camera is once again getting low. It's actually a, a Honda labeled battery. So, yeah, um. I'll be right back. Let me shut this um, hood down. So yeah, um, as you can see, my good old 1995 Accord is still alive and very much well. So um, I think what we will do now is um, I'm going to pull back into my regular parking spot. Whoa, a little too much gas there. And we will call this a video. So for now, this is Billy Core signing off on January the 13th of 2014.